that song? Yeah. It's very nice. It's a very nice song. It, words by Martha Cheney and Hat Palmer and music by Hat Palmer. And uh, we like to listen to that song. And it's very pleasant. It has a nice melody. And it has very nice thought. Let's look oh, at the... I can't hear you. Let's look at the words together. I'm going to ask you to take a look at the grammar of these sentences. What verb tense do we use in these sentences? Sometimes my mommy takes me over to another friend's house to play. What's the verb? Takes. takes. Let me hear you say the word, takes. takes. All right, why do we have an S on the end of that word? Third person singular, what's the subject of takes? Who takes? My mommy, right. Third person singular, she, right? My mommy takes me over to another friend's house to play. Now, in that sentence, we have a lot of S endings, like sometimes. This word always has an S at the beginning and the end. Let me hear you say, sometimes. Sometimes. My mommy takes me over. Now we have an apostrophe S for possessive. A friend's house. Another friend's house. Of course, the word house has a sound at the end of it, too. Sometimes I only stay a little while. What's the verb? Stay. Why doesn't it have S? Because for I, we don't use S. Sometimes I only stay a little while. But sometimes I stay all day. What's the verb? Stay. Stay, because the subject is still I. Right, I stay. Remember when we use present tense? Do we use present tense for something we're doing right now or something we usually do? Something we usually do. Something that we do every day. Some kinds of routines, right? Sometimes of routines. We use the simple present tense. Now we get the chorus. Let's say the word chorus. chorus. This letter, CH, in this word, CH has a sound just like K, okay? Because sometimes we have CH for CH as in chair. Sometimes we have K sound like mechanic and orchestra. Those have CH with a K sound. So here we say chorus. chorus. All right, here's our chorus. My mommy comes back. What's the verb? Comes. comes. Underline that. Right. She always comes back. The verb? Again, comes. She always comes back to get me. Comes. My mommy comes back. She always comes back. She never would forget me. In this case, the verb is would forget. It's a, it has two parts of it the auxiliary would and the main verb would, uh, forget. She never would forget me. So in other words, the child might worry. When is mommy coming? Is she going to forget me? No, mommy comes back always. So this is always regularly. That's why we use a simple present tense there. Let me hear you say, my mommy comes back. And notice that the word always has z at the end. So make sure you make the always. z sound. Always. always. She always comes back. She always comes back. Notice how we link she y'all. She always comes back. So careful. Don't say she uh she uh say she y'all she y'all she always comes back. She always comes back to get me. My mommy comes back. She always comes back. She never would forget me. Here's the second verse. The second verse goes like this. Sometimes I worry when she leaves me. What's the first verb? Worry. I worry. No S on this word. And what's the second verb? Leaves, because the subject is she. she. Right. Excuse me. Sometimes 
I worry when she leaves me. I hope she won't be gone too long. Hope is the first verb, I hope. What's the next verb? Won't be. Won't be is future. Won't means will not. I hope she will not be gone, be away too long. I hope she won't be gone too long. Let's say that. I hope she won't be gone too long. But when I'm with my friends and having fun, what's the verb? I am, am, right. I'm with my friends. And there's another part of a verb, having, means I am having. At the moment when I'm having fun, I soon forget she's gone. What's the verb? The first verb is forget. I forget. I soon forget. What's the second verb? Is. Right. She is gone. She is away. And the contraction, she's. All right, let's say that sentence. But when I'm with my friends and having fun, okay, listen to the rhythm. Da 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 da. But when I'm with my friends and having fun, I soon forget she's gone. Then you say and very shortly, very short and, and you start singing the chorus. The third verse. Sometimes I visit with my grandma. What's the verb? Visit. S or no S? No S because I. Right. Sometimes I visit with my grandma. Okay, feel the rhythm. Sometimes I visit with my grandma. Okay, good. The second line is, while my mommy goes somewhere. What's the verb? Goes. Goes. Right. Why do we have S on that? Mommy. Mommy. Third person singular, she. While my mommy goes somewhere. We bake some cookies and we read a book. I see two verbs there. What are the verbs? Bake. And read. No S? No one asks because we bake and we read. All right, listen to the rhythm. We bake some cookies and we read a book. And another action is in the last line. And rock in the rocking chair. What's the verb? Rock. Does it have S? No. no, because it means we, we rock. Why? Right, very good. We rock and rock in the rocking chair. And my mommy comes back. And then we sing the chorus again. So let's do that. Let's do that together. I'll play the CD and we'll sing together.